in this passage in the second verse, uh, Paul uses this word steward or stewardship. He says, you've heard of the stewardship of God's grace, which was grace, which was given to me. And then in the, the next verse, he says that by revelation, there was no, made known to me the mystery. And then he goes on to elaborate on what that mystery is in the remainder of this chapter. So by way of exhortation for us and considering Paul's ministry, by the way, aren't you, aren't you uh, thankful that Paul was a good steward of that grace? Because uh, as Gentile people, we are all the fruit of, of, in some sense, indirectly maybe, we are fruit of Paul's uh, ministry. So let me just challenge you briefly here uh, in this time of exhortation to consider the fact that, that we are also stewards of God's grace, aren't we? Yes, we are. Now, we are not called to be apostles in this sense. Um, we don't have the exact same ministry, certainly, that Paul had. And we don't all have the same ministry among ourselves. But it could be said corporately and individually that we are all stewards of God's grace. Amen. So let me exhort us, first of all, corporately. The Word of Truth Fellowship is a steward of the, of the mystery that God has revealed. Mystery here in this text means something that once was concealed that has now been revealed. We are all, the Word of Truth Fellowship, as a corporate entity, is a steward of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He has entrusted it to us. So are we being good stewards? A steward is someone that manages what belongs to someone else. So the gospel did not originate with us. We didn't invent it. And it's, we're not at liberty to change it or to modify it. We've received it. And it's our job to keep it and to minister it. And a steward, of course, is always expected to increase the wealth of the, yeah, of the, uh, for, for, for the, the person that entrusted the things to him. You're not supposed to just hide it like the guy did in the parable. You remember the guy in Jesus' parable went out and hid his talent in the ground. That's not good stewardship. Good stewardship means that whatever you, you have received, you're supposed to increase it for your, for your uh, supervisor. You want to be productive stewards. So let's think about it this way. Are we as a church, are we being productive stewards? Are we producing something? And then let me exhort you individually. Individually, you are also a steward. You are God's steward. God has entrusted you with certain things. Uh, he's entrusted you. He's made a deposit in you. Paul, that's what Paul said to Timothy later. He said, guard the deposit that God's made. You, God's made a deposit in you. Do you know that? He's invested something in you. He's given you his Holy Spirit. He's given you the knowledge of Christ and the gospel. So let me challenge you to think about this. Are you being a good steward? Are you, are you caring for what God has given you? Are you being a productive steward? Are you being a lazy steward? It's your responsibility to do something with what God has given you. And the first area that should show up in your life, by the way, is not in how many sermons you preach or how many articles on the internet you publish, but it's to show up in your own character. Is your own character bearing fruit? Are you, are you showing forth the fruit of the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit's been in, given to you. Are you being a good steward of the grace that's been given to you? Has, is that showing up in your own character? The fruit of the Spirit, a Christ-like character. So let me just challenge you to think about that. Uh, the rest of this service and the rest of this day, maybe even the rest of this week. Am I a good steward of the grace that God has given me? Yes. Do any of you have anything you'd like to, to elaborate on from this uh, text and this message?